A couple of years ago, we started, uh, 2008, uh, we joined together the two Catholic schools in Dover, uh, St. Richard's Primary School and St. Edmund's Secondary School, and we formed a federation from 4 to 19 for Catholic education in the area. St. Edmund's is an excellent school and it is a school that is committed to excellence. I've enjoyed the school from year seven. If you like something, you don't really want to ever have to leave it. So the longer you can stay in it, the better really, I would say. I love St Edmunds. To me, there's the warmth. There's a uniqueness about our community. The students are at the center of everything that we do. And that is important in the world that we live in today. It's fun because it's a nice, friendly, welcome school and you enjoy it very much. And the food's nice. <laughs> in the canteen. I'm like nervous about going to like a big school and going from the oldest in the school to like the youngest and then like everybody being bigger than you. Well if we if you got the help that we did going around the school you wouldn't be scared. First I was really nervous and now I've made lots of new friends and it's really exciting. You've made lots of friends and I've met lots of new teachers and they're really friendly. In Key Stage 3, the students have an opportunity to be mentored by uh, a student a year or two above them uh, through a peer mentoring programme. The peer mentors are trained by members of staff and it also means that the this transition is, is newer to them than perhaps it is to us and so they understand the difficulties that some of the Year 7s may have. We're in Year 7 and we've been here about two weeks and two days. Yeah, look at me. And it's been fun and weird because we all get lost. <laughs> I might lose myself. <laughs> um, it's so big, right? Um, but oh, I quite. Um, I'm not really worried about anything, really. I'm just excited about it. <laughs> Don't be worried. Just yeah, just be yourself. Yeah. Our federation is between St Edmunds and St Richards and it's a 4 to 19 federation so it's really about learning from very small people all the way up to very big people. What we hope to achieve through that is people who are effective learners, who are really positive contributors to society and who are in a position to be lifelong learners. I went into St Richards, our federated um, primary school and worked in year six with um, a small group encouraging them to you know, improve their writing skills and it was very very useful for me because I saw the way that the children worked, I saw how independent they were, how confident and it made me see once they moved to year seven that they are far often more confident than a secondary school teacher perceives. So often we see them as the little ones, the babies, when in actual fact they're very organised individuals and it's our job to be able to maintain that and keep them running smoothly rather than regressing and treating them as babies. We were friends and niches and we used to come here for science, uh, uh, RE. RE, and the occasional, what was it? We usually came here once a day a couple of times. We often like go on trips and we sometimes go, go up to St Edmunds and like meet some of the pupils there and like see what sort of stuff they do at the secondary and if we wasn't linked we wouldn't get to find out what you do at secondary. When students join us in Year 7, they go straight into um, a, a form group that is a mixture of Year 7 students, Year 8 students and Year 9 students. I think it's really important. Students can look up to the students in the years above them. They can see where there is for them to go. And I think it's very important the sixth form are very much involved with the younger students in the school. And that's a bit of a role model for them, someone to look up to as they move through the school. What's good about this sixth form is that we're actually a community and we do sort of look out for each other and everyone's 
sort of gets along and that way. Mentoring, you get to know quite a few like younger ones as well. Because okay. we mentor the year 10s and then the teachers mentor the year 11s. And all through the school, there's always like counselling and things like that to do. So. Yeah, so that's quite so You're never left on your own. No. I'm in St Edmunds two years and I feel comfortable in there because I've got loads of support. Because there's Polish people you can come and talk about where they've been and you can help them understand English more. We have children from Poland, from Slovakia, from Hungary, from China and we support them all in, in their own languages as well. Um, there is also um, an activity club for them set up for lunch times and a good support for homework. The ethos of the school is not just about academic ability, it's about growing the person as a whole. We look for people who want to throw themselves into the life of the school. This is a very important subject uh, within this school. Being a Catholic school, we are actually a core subject, which means that we uh, study religious studies all the way from Year 7 up to Sixth Form. Um, and it's, it's more than just learning about religion, it's learning about ourselves and learning about the ethos of the school. We are a, a specialist performing arts college and um, it is of the utmost importance to make sure we embed performing arts across the curriculum. So we run a lot of projects with other subject leaders to really enforce the performing arts and motivate our students, encouraging them to learn in a kinesthetic style. Drama isn't always about being the best actor or actress, even though we'll support them to become the very best. It's about the people skills, the communication skills, the life skills of actually meeting deadlines, working with other people, being creative together. Sometimes thinking outside of the box, not necessarily coming up with the expected answer, but it encourages creativity. Well, it's obviously got us more confident. Uh, we get, um, like Hayden, has a six pack somewhere down there, and we get that. There's a, there's a lot of room to like do stuff and like well and all the teachers are really friendly. Of course if you uh, start at St Edmunds we expect the best out of you as far as achievements concerned. Take for instance this year, the summer, uh, just gone. We've celebrated the best results across the board we've ever uh, celebrated. Very friendly. Yeah. It's a very friendly school. It's quite nice because it's a nice size and it's not like a huge school, you know. Yeah. But it is definitely, I've really enjoyed it and I've met Abby here and various <laughs> other people and I've really, yeah, I've got self confidence in myself now and yeah, I feel like I'm, hopefully, my future is going to be. Good, so. And as a parent and as a grandparent, I know how my grandson felt when he sort of started primary school and now he's moving forward and going into secondary school and I know the worries that parents will have. Can I assure parents that really here we really do have a wonderful transition programme. We have teachers that go out and meet with them in primary school and we ensure that they are made to feel part of our community before they even start here. They come and see us in May, they see us again in July. Everyone can achieve here and does achieve when we look at our results.